welcome back, survivors, to another episode of Seven Days to Die, um, the classic Nomad Survival mod. So, starting off here, I was literally just kind of doing some stuff here, organizing my inventories, putting some stuff away here to sell to the trader. I'm starting to sell the iron I get as well, too, because um, he will buy that. And it's uh, pretty valuable. Oh, look at that. It's morning time. Good timing here, too. So, I'm going to quickly dump off some of the stuff here that I absolutely don't need. Uh, we'll keep some water behind. We need those painkillers. But as you can hear below us, uh, we got quite the scene going on. Um, I looked over and I seen some dogs running at us. And I'm like, oh, damn. Maybe I should start recording. So here we go. Anyways, welcome back to another episode, guys. I'm surprised. I'm um, surprised. Happy to get back to the mod here. Uh, now, I am making some more arrows. So we should be able to take out these dogs relatively easily. Uh, and uh, we have this convenient hole down here. Where the zombies bash the place open. Uh, now the trick is to try to hit these dogs on the head. There we go. Oh, I hit him in the neck, damn it. At least it stunned them. How many shots is it going to take? I hope I have enough arrows. I started making some more. Um, we just have to go out and get some more wood. Look at that. Wow, look at all the arrows hanging out of them. Okay, where's the other two? I know there's more than that one. And I want to get those arrows back. Oh, god damn. I don't want to die either. My, um, I, I'm actually doing... Whoa, shoo -hoo, I thought I let myself on fire. I, uh, let's go over to this other one here. Let's jump over this other building. And we should be able to draw them out, because look at all those arrows down there that I can get. I still don't have a tool, so collecting wood is not so easy. Um, I'm using chairs in the campfire to keep that sucker going. Uh, where did I put those? I hope I didn't burn them all. Oh, no, they're actually sitting in the campfire themselves. Um... Oh, we're full up in here, though. Oh, damn. Okay, I'll take that out so the, the water keeps getting made. Where are these damn dogs? I know as soon as I'm going to jump down there, they're going to freaking gank me. That's how that shit works. Uh, we'll get rid of this pistol and the bullets because we don't need any of that. And uh, we just got basically got to go do some looting today. It's day four. Uh, whoa, shit. Episode five. Whew, that was a quick burn. Okay, no, we're fine. Uh, where are these fucking dogs, though? There's one right there. Now he's inside the building. <laughs> Stupid things! Come on! I can't wait till they fix this AI and they can actually uh, chase you from building to building instead of getting all caught up in their derpy. Because I can hear them. You know what? Screw it, guys. We're gonna go down there and we're gonna uh, we're gonna do it with my stamina. Like, we'll wait till my stamina is all the way back up. There we go. All right, there you are, you fucking asshole. Come at me, bro. I hit him in the leg. Hit him in the butt. Wow, these arrows actually stick to the dogs really, really well. I don't mind this at all. We're down to seven arrows, though. Oh, shit, and I'm missing with them, too. What the hell? I swear, this should be hitting them. There we go. Right in the butt. Okay, well... I need some of these back, so I'm gonna walk up to him and just grab a few. There we go. He's down. Okay, is that the last dog? I wonder if that's the last dog. Oh, he was breaking through that door. I should have let him do it. Damn it. There's a pack right there. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Whatever it is what it is. Are my arrows still here? Yes. There we go. Grab the arrows. Make the dog fly. <laughs> I love how the dog ends up doing that when you pick these suckers up. Oh, untouched. What? I didn't search his fridge bottom? Really? Well then, I feel like an idiot now and I missed this uh, trash can too. Did we even come in here and search? We should have. Oh, I got distracted by the munitions box up there. That's what it was. Uh, and we have already gone in here and taken a look at it. Uh, we just haven't gotten into that one room. Okay, well, that was fun. Apparently, it's dog day today. So, uh, it's actually... Um, I miss those days when you knew dog day was happening. Uh, now the dog hordes are just random. Uh, there actually is no such thing as dog day anymore. Uh, but anyways, if we look at our map here, we've almost pretty much like searched this whole town. There's a uh, garage um, over here, like um, but they spawn in dogs, which really sucks. But you know what? How many arrows do we have? Six. I only have six left. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get some wood here. I'm gonna go around. Uh, it doesn't seem there's too many zombies spawning in this area because we've uh, cleared it out pretty well, so we shouldn't be harassed too much. So I'm gonna go around and just start. Um, Double checking some stuff here and getting some arrows back together. I need to go up and grab some feathers. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get some more arrows together here and we'll be back in a minute doing some more looting. 
Okay, so I'd just like to mention here, I got like a whole bunch of supplies together, right? And I can only make like 16 arrows. I'm like, what the hell? So I go and look at the actual recipe and he upped the recipe to have three feathers with it. Which kind of makes sense because the arrow has three feathers, I believe, going down the side. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's three. Um, I did take a little bit of archery back when I was, I don't know, maybe 15, 16. It's way gone now, though. I don't remember any of that crap. Um, but I did take it back then, and I, I do believe it was three, from if memory serves me correctly. Uh, now, remember how we open containers and stuff that take forever to open, and we get the um, the boards from them? Uh, these are actually an early game placeable item that's actually extremely useful. Uh, let's rotate this, actually, to go uh, flat. Let's go see if it goes on face if we look down. Nope, doesn't work properly. Okay. So we'll go to advanced and lay the sucker down flat here. There we go, beautiful. We'll put one on the corner so it can support itself. And, uh, oh shit, <laughs> I doubled it up. Whatever, it is what it is. And there we go, now I have a patch for my roof so I don't actually end up falling in that hole. And I have a feeling here too that soon enough they'll break out those blocks. So I'm gonna patch up the top here too so I don't fall in there. Okay, awesome. So these are extremely useful. Anytime you open up those boxes that take forever, you get one of these suckers. All right, so I have my hay bills. We have some arrows good to go. Uh, we're going to have to try to search for some more feathers, I guess. And uh, we're good to loot. Uh, these wooden ladders need to go away. Uh, we're doing pretty good on food. I'm at 68%. Water, we're pretty good. Uh, the campfire should have a bunch of water in it. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna actually search for an area here that we haven't really searched like up here We're gonna hit up these couple and I do believe maybe there's a few buildings down here We haven't hit up, uh, but there really isn't that much in this city Like uh, we're gonna have to go and hit the road soon I think and try to find some more POIs so we get some more loot uh, We can only get so much food, right? We don't even have a gun or anything. So ugh. Um, I should have saved that hand uh, the handgun actually for meat remind me guys next gun I get I'm going to save that one for meat and meat only. Alright, so we got a bunch of gravestones right here. This is um, a custom POI, like a player made POI. Uh, so I'm going to dig down and see if there's anything actually buried in here. Because uh, there could be coffins, right? These are gravestones. That would uh, that would generally make sense. Uh, there might not be though, and we might be just uh, wasting energy. But let's find out, just for shits and giggles. Um, it'd be nice to know. Uh, the thing I'm excited about Alpha 17, guys, uh, kind of going off topic here, but this reminded me of it, is um, they'll have a built-in POI maker that you can go into, and it's just strictly for making a POI. You won't have to do like stuff in your tool belt and stuff like that. You'll just basically be able to go build a POI. And hopefully, maybe share that sucker. Yeah, it doesn't appear like we have anything in there. That kind of sucks. Uh, I'm pretty sure we checked another one at 1.2, and that one also didn't put anything out for us. So, whatever. It is what it is. Take that to the head there, buddy. Oh, what level are we? Four? We're hitting him with a wet noodle right now because I have absolutely no stamina from all that digging of the dirt. Damn it, we have some on us. Oh, I don't think I, I, I searched that place either. Uh, we could probably get into it by pulling up to that uh, hole in the roof there. Uh, this one here, I don't even know if this one has a hole in it. We'll find out. Okay. Anywho, let's use a bow on this guy because... Oh, it is going to have a hole in it soon. <laughs> I just heard a few sleepers wake up. There we are. Awesome. Okay. I got to go easy on those things too. I don't want to use them all up. Where are you at, zombie? Okay, he's over there. I don't hear any dogs yet, so that's a good thing. I really don't want dogs all over my ass. So that was enough to make three arrows from that one nest. I actually kind of like that. Um, I always thought it was way, way too easy to make arrows. Um, what I did on Settler's Mod was I actually made it loot less arrows. Um, but making it use more uh, feathers? You know what? I kind of like that. Alright, so I've killed off a few zombies here. It seems uh, we have a few more spawn-ins. Um, I haven't been over this area actually in a little while because uh, I do believe this is the first uh, where we first came in. Whoa, what was that? Is that a bird or something flying by? I swear I just seen some, something fly in front of me. Uh, um, anyways, the zombies are still in here smashing their way out. Uh, we can get in easily through one of these one block spaces. Um, I kind of don't want to get myself stuck in there right now, though. Let's see if we can, uh... Can't see one of these guys here. Oh, there we go. There we go. And off with your head. Beautiful. Okay. What's left in here now? Watch it be a big fat lady. Nope. It's just an angry dude. 
Uh, how many arrows do we have to left? I gotta go watch that, too. Oh, shit! Oh, there is a big lady in here, too. Right there. Look at her. Just stand there like it ain't no thing. Give me my arrow back. <laughs> Don't shoot it all around. All derpy like arrow. Well, I guess that one's gone. Oh, shit. Missed it. But we can go get that back. <laughs> That's cool. Kind of like just sat into the post. Ooh, that was close. It's a little too close for comfort. I've got myself backed in. Once again, guys, I do apologize if it gets dark. Um, I am guilty. Like, I do play this on uh, a really good monitor. So even, like, the dark darks aren't, like, black dark, right? I can still see in them. Kind of kind of like when your eyes adjust to nighttime type deal. Uh, so when I'm recording, I tend to forget that every once in a while. Um, and then I, like, I go view it on my phone afterwards. And I'm like, whoa, I can't see shit. Where did you even come from? You must have been hiding in the hay bales behind there. There we go. I wonder what you were doing beforehand, you dirty girl. Holy crap, though. Lots of zombie kills. Uh, we are down to six arrows. Where did that one arrow go? Oh, I guess the... Uh, oh, there we go. Did I get the... Oh, no, I guess it was just a hay bale. Whatever. I'll take every single hay bale. We will make ourselves a hay bale fort to protect ourselves on Horde Night. Um, I still want to do that. A Horde Night on hay bales. And uh, see how that works out. I think that would be fun. I had that plan on my PS4 playthrough, but never got around to it. Anyways, I'm going to grab all these hay bales here. Um, actually, first, let's go upstairs, see if there's anything up there. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab all the hay bales, because there's there's a ton of them. Oh, we got we got this sucker. And uh, there's an arrow sitting on top of it, apparently. All right, so we got a working stiffs box. So fingers crossed, guys, this is going to give us something good. I'm going to pick up a couple of hay bales for luck. Search this. Oh, see what I said is luck. Look at that. A blueberry pie. One of the best foods other than uh, meat stew out there. Damn, that's freaking awesome. Sick. Okay, so fingers crossed we get something good. We got some nail gun parts, an anvil. Ooh, that anvil is actually really useful. We'll go and take that and put it at the forge in the trader. Nice. And uh, even some wood. Sweet. This is actually turning out to be a really good run. <clears throat> Level 50 nail gun parts, sell price 72. Huh. I don't think it's worth keeping it at this point. Because I think at some point we'll actually end up um, finding some. But, ah, oh well. Okay, anyways, less talking, more moving. I'm going to grab those hay bales and we're going to move on to the next building. Okay, so we have this little place over here. This shouldn't be too bad. We have a box in it. Uh, we have a zombie. And we have a wood door which is locked. <laughs> Uh, it shouldn't take him long to get through that. Maybe, uh, maybe we can help him? No. It's not help him a bit. There we go. He can exhaust himself and I'll save my stamina here. Uh, did we search that place over there? You know what? While he's banging his way through there, we're gonna go and double check this one. Never leave anything unsearched. Oh, there's another road over there, too. Um, now, looking at the map... Ugh, fuck, I forgot that hurts you. Every single time. Oh, look at this. Whole bunch of untouched stuff in here to search. This feels like a trap, to be honest. Uh, what do we got from the garbage? Nothing. Food, food, food? Oh, just an empty glass jar. Button hooked. What do we got here? Nothing. Okay, let's go ahead and open this thing, and hopefully we get something good from this. Oh, fuck your couch. God damn, I hate it when they turn out to be couches. Um, but at least we got another one of those, uh, boarded, uh, boarded window sheet underscore weeks. Those are actually really nice. Great name for them, too. Oh, look at that. He made it out of his uh, little hidey hole over here. So since I actually have some stamina, uh, we're going to try to bash his head in a bit here. There we go. Use up this weapon. We still are kind of hurting for tools and weapons. If I had a good melee weapon, we'd be, um, we'd be doing really well at this point in time. Okay, let's go see what they have in here for us now that he broke it out. Food? Oh, some meat stew! Holy crap, this has been the best, like, food run I've had so far. An auger schematic? I'm gonna read it. It's more valuable to read than, I think, at this point, than anything else. The exploding crossbow, we'll read that too. Sick, this is turning out to be such a good loot run. So, that gave us a destroyed generator bank. Let's see what we find in here. Absolutely nothing, no engine. That would be sick if we got an engine, actually. That would be, uh... Another mini bike part that we would need, but we got that search. We got that place searched um, The lazy H over here. I don't know what that's um, that's a pun of I, I, is that American thing Like is there something named similar to that in America? I don't even know 
Uh, more hay bales, though. You can never have too many of those in this mod. Uh, we have a fat guy in here. We have one of those guys. Cool. They could take their time to break out. All right, come here. I got some stamina, so I'm going to use it on your head. There we go. One for you. One for you. Nice. Come on. Aha! Beautiful. Uh, so the trick with melee weapons, basically, in this bot is you really want to watch that stamina. So that's really the only time. Holy shit, you're ever going to get a crit. Uh, since this guy's right on my ass, I'm going to waste an arrow on him. Or, or try attempt to waste an arrow on him. Ooh, ouch. Come, come back here, arrow. Uh, it went away. Is it down here somewhere? Can I search for it? Nope, arrow's gone forever. Oh, sweet, we got another handgun and some more rounds. That's awesome. Um, that arrow is gone too, apparently. That's okay, though. What's up, buddy? There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Looting's not a problem anymore at all. We're starting to, starting to really get there. Any more zombies, though? Seems like we're okay for a second. We got some gas, which is good. We can either sell it to the trader or make gas cans. Uh, lots of pants. These guys... I think it's a hint for me. Because honestly, guys, I'm not going to lie right now. I am definitely not wearing pants. But somehow, I've been just picking up pants all episode. Oh, and a red tank top. Maybe it's giving me uh, fashion suggestions. Maybe that's what it's doing. It's like put on some pants and uh, take that uh, t-shirt you have off and wear a red shirt. Uh, fun fact, I'm actually wearing a shit. I'm not wearing a shit. I'm wearing a uh, Power Rangers shirt that came in one of my friend's um, boxes. You know those like loot, loot crates. There we go. That's a word I'm looking for. Uh, I used to get loot crates and uh, he got the wrong size shirt and never bothered fixing it. So he'd always give me the shirts. Uh, but yeah, I think it's really telling me to put some pants on and change my shirt because I, I honestly think I should. Look at that. Compound bow parts. Sell price 202. Nice. They're only level 15. What are these parts? I can't. Um, I don't know the uh, the recipe for it yet. Hmm. I think they're bad. I think I'm better off selling those at this point. But yeah, this loot run is turning out to be real freaking good. Uh, we don't have much left though in this city, unfortunately. All right. Let's get out of here, and um, I'm gonna take a quick look at the map and see if there's anything. Shut up, bird. If there's anything uh, around this area that I haven't looted yet. I'm pretty sure I got all this here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to head down this way, and we're going to check down there. Uh, do some last-minute checks. I don't think there's too much left. All right, so I'm out in the wilderness. I decided to go off the beaten track a little bit here, look for some bird's nest and stuff. And, oh, my God, look at that hunting rifle barrel. 471. Oh, crap. We just need to keep finding parts and stuff. Uh, sell those to the trader, and then we should be able to buy things. Now, um... Last episode, like, I was I was kind of scoffing at the prices, and then someone said, I think that they changed the pricing system for traders, uh, because I don't remember things being that expensive in vanilla, and honestly, I don't use the traders that much anyways. What the fuck did I just find? I don't use the traders that much anyways, um, so I, I didn't notice the price difference, but I did confirm. Uh, <laughs> This is awesome. I did confirm that they did uh, jack the prices by 10 times. Um, but look at this. I found a brass monkey. Nice. I don't even want to scrap it. I wish I had a sale value. But I will scrap it because I can sell the brass itself. Okay, awesome. I'm going to continue towards that red flag here looking for nest. And bird! 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 Die, bird! And the bird's gone. It's just disappeared. It has no body. But hey, I just killed a bird with a club. It wasn't a very smart bird. An airplane just went by and plopped down an airdrop. And I think it's right near my base over here. Now, I don't have um, show airdrops on. I thought I did for a second there. I didn't actually look for it. Uh, but then I turned around and I saw it. And it looks like it's like right near my base over this way. Um, this thing would be priceless at this point. So let's go ahead. Uh, do you have any liquids to drink? I do not. Dang it. Uh, I was going to use some for stamina, but we have some back at the base. Whatever. I'm going to get to this airdrop if it makes me exhausted or not. Like, literally, guys. It's literally right where we were looting before. <laughs> I had to come run right back here um, and grab it. It reminds me of my uh, delivery days. I used to have to run like back and forth in the same area all the time. But yes, look at that. Airdrop for us. Right there, uh, we have some room in my inventory, so we shouldn't be too bad. We can get rid of a few things, I guess. 
Uh, we can get rid of one gunpowder, one cloth fragment, and some broken glass. That should be good enough. All right, fingers crossed we get a sniper rifle. Let's see what we get here. Uh, rocket launcher parts for 325. Nice. Compound bow schematic. I will read that. Two beakers, which sell really well. Three first aid kits, antibiotics, and oh my god, guys. This is, like, if this was vanilla, I'd just be like, okay, whatever. Average loot run, right? But this is, um, classic survival. Um, classic nomad survival. I am having a really good round. Okay, uh, I'm gonna drop off a few things at my base here and, uh, get a little organized and we'll head down towards the red. I got so much stuff to sell the trader. We might do that first and then double check all our uh, all of our buildings. Alright, so I got rid of some things here. I got the fire going again to do some more water. Uh, but it sounds like we had a friend stop by. I don't know where it came from, but whatever. She can just chill out in there. Uh, we gotta head back down towards the, uh, the trader here. My, uh, inventory's a little spotty, but I pretty much brought whatever I can sell with us. And, uh, a little bit of food. We are doing so good on the food now, I actually won't have to concentrate on food for a few days, which is, uh, will give us a nice little break. Uh, we might be able to start getting out the city a little bit, look for another city, like maybe hit up this road right here. And see where that goes. That's kind of interesting to see a road running like that right beside a city. Um, I don't know if they change the generation of how the roads and stuff go. But um, it'll be interesting to see how that one leads. Watch, it just bends weird and comes back in the city. Which it probably does. But hey, we'll find out eventually. Alright, off to the trader. Alright, so we're starting off here with 4,377 coins. Uh, we should come out of this with actually quite a bit. We'll even sell these pants. I'm not cheap. I will sell anything that's like any coin, period, at this point. The more coin, the better. Uh, oh, let's sell these suckers here. There we go. We don't have enough brass in the stack to sell them. Uh, we will sell them this red tank top because, uh, fuck pants and fuck shirts. Actually, uh, I don't think those are scrap enough. We'll sell this just because it's worth more in coin than it is, um, combining it for my weapon. Ooh, I wonder if you can combine things to fix them. I don't know, because I know you can't repair them. But if you can combine them, you can compare them or repair them that way. 493 for those. That's actually pretty damn good. 348 for that. Beautiful. Uh, what else expensive things do I have? Ah, that's it. You only have 6,165. Um, I, for some reason, was expecting quite a bit more than that coming over here. I guess I was wrong. Oh, and we found out the max stack for wood. It's 200, by the way. Only 200 for wood. Dang. Okay. Uh, we have our anvil and the rest of this. We actually need or can't sell the trader. Well, let's take a look here and see what he has for um, ammo and weapons. Nothing. Literally nothing. I would love a melee weapon right now. Uh, there's a claw hammer. That would be um, kind of useful for getting through things. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, look under everything. We'll look under tools. Uh, where did tools go? Am I being blind? Oh, it's all the way down the end here. Um, oh yeah, shitty wrench that I already sold to the trader. Damn it. And he doesn't restock until, um, until hard, hard day. Damn it. Okay, well, we'll have to come back and check him out on hard day, I guess. <laughs> really not too much of an option. Uh, we still have three days to kill in this town. Now, I know for- oh, there's a goose! There's a goose, guys. Shit, I still don't have anything. I don't have a bone or anything that I can skin the goose with. Damn it, I still have nothing to get meat from zombies. So out of anger, I'm going to shoot them in the head with my bullets. There we go. Beautiful. Future girl, what you got for us? Just garbage. I don't even need either of those. Uh, some of the junk items actually have like zero sell, sell, sell value to the traders. Okay, um, now this place right here, this place has been the bane of me. I've tried to loot this place a few times now, but every time I come over here, there ends up being a glowing friggin' zombie in this build. So is there still one in here? There is no glowing feral friggin' radiated zombie? Holy crap, guys. Check it out. I can actually loot this place now. Um, this is a nice uh, smash and grab. Oh, look at that. A sledgehammer schematic. That'll uh, fetch me another 202 coins. Um, I will take that. Apparently, we've read it already. We have a forge and a workbench. I wonder if I can just make one using those. Damn. You know what else I forgot, guys? I forgot to put the, um, the anvil in the forge at the trader. Damn it. 
Okay, so we're gonna get this place looted up here. Um, the cabinets are a little boring. They'll probably just give us average junk. Uh, is there anything else in here that might be valuable? Yes, duffel bag. Here we go. Nada. Okay, I'm gonna grab all the cupboards and everything, and we're gonna run over to the uh, the forge here and check out the recipes in the forge. All right, so I do believe the forge was this way around. I did close the door that had the forge in it, uh, just to keep it for extra special safekeeping. And you know what, Mr. Legless Man, since you're going to be following me around forever until I get rid of you, I'm going to have to kill you here. There we go. Beautiful. And we st we even have a few more things to sell the trader. Nothing crazy valuable, but still a few more things. And holy... Oh, that's a light. I thought there was a cement mixer sitting there. But I do believe we had a cement mixer in here somewhere too. Was it this closed one? Yes, it is. There we go. Working cement mixer right there, um, which is always good to know. Okay, where did that forge go? Right here. Beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at the forge here and see see what's up in the forge. Um, if you added anything in the actual forge that you can make. Um, you make the insulator in the forge? Oh, <laughs> you know what? Almost forgot that again. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, Rod Iron France is in the forge. Um, scrap steel. What is scrap steel? Hmm. That's got to have a use for something. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we can make, like, metal uh, forged iron. Uh, so we can make some forged iron. Uh, if we go out with our shovel, get some clay, and go back and grab the uh, forged iron we have stacked, we might be able to make enough of these uh, to make a sledgehammer. Because the sledgehammer would be perfect right now uh, for this playthrough. And especially considering it's one of my favorite uh, weapons as well. Okay, where was that house again that I had the, uh, the workbench at? Let's take a look here. Workbench is right up here. So I'm going to put a quick waypoint up there, and we're going to go up there and uh, take a look to see how many um, how many forged iron we need to make it. Because I don't believe it's listed in here. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look, though. Sled. Nope, it's not. We're going to have to go. Where is that our tools? Yeah, nope, we're going to have to go to the workbench. That's okay. Let's go check it out. Look at this, guys. I come into the forge house here. And holy, what the fuck? Okay, maybe that's why that was uh, not searched. But I looked at that bookcase and I'm like, hey, this bookcase is not searched. Uh, I think I know now why I didn't search that bookcase. That's kind of funny. All right, so let's uh, search up sledgehammer here. Can you not make the sledgehammer? Maybe you can't. Maybe you just cannot make the sledgehammer whatsoever. What can we make for um, ammo and weapons? Uh, we could make a hunting knife if we had one. Um, I still haven't found a large bone yet because I can't take apart um, any of the, the tools and crap. Wow, maybe you can't cannot make a sledgehammer. Maybe it's just not possible. Uh, we could make some salvage knives. They don't really do anything too crazy. <laughs> You're missing the recipe <laughs> or the description. <clears throat> uh, Sphere, I, I'm, and I mean, uh, never mind, never mind. We're not missing the recipe. We're good. Anywho, that was a little bit of a jab at uh, at Sphere. Love the guy. <laughs> uh, we can make ourselves a um, better barb club, I guess. Uh, what else can we make? Damn, I wish I could make a shiv so at least I can get some uh, weapons and stuff. Uh, we could make a blender bus, and maybe some ammo if we found some more gunpowder. Damn. Okay, what do we have for, uh, resources here? What can we make for, I mean, tools. Wow. What can we make for tools? Okay, so we can, uh, we can start making some tools. 20 forged iron for each. Okay. Primitive tool used for cutting wood, mining stone, repairing and upgrading walls. Wow, we could totally make one of these. We, I th we have everything we need to get this together. Not the best weapon. Wow, there's an early game tool. Can we make that by hand? Oh, we can too. We can make the salvage this whole time. I wish I could make one of these. I don't know where to find a saw blade, but this would be pretty fucking badass. Uh, we could totally make one of these as a basic weapon uh, while we're waiting for uh, 20. Oops, let's go back to tools here. Why is it not all coming up? Am I having a moment? Anyways. Okay, I'm going crazy here. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyways, uh, so we can make the, the iron tools at least. At least we can make those. Um, has a better chance to dismember than most weapons. So an iron fire axe, I think, would be our first weapon we'd want to make. And then we can make a pickaxe after that. So let's make that our goals here. 
We'll get the iron uh, fire axe and everything together. All right, so I have a feeling here I'm going to be getting ganked as soon as I come down these stairs by... Holy shit! Big zombie got replaced by this zombie? How'd that even happen? Huh? Oh, shit. No, there, there he is. There he is. He's mad, and he's coming in. And he's uh, walking through the door frame, apparently. Holy fuck, this guy is huge. No wonder he took that arrow like a champ and could just walk through door frames way taller than him. Holy shit. Did he even go down with a second one? You know what? A third one? Holy shit. This guy is tough as balls. And balls are pretty fucking tough. Nice. Nice. Okay. Fuck you, zombie biker. Um, let's go loot that room up in there, actually, because I think I uh, chickened out last time ran up the stairs, too. Because uh, I missed this bookcase. Some paper. We can sell that to the trader. Not a bad find. And look at all these bookcases in here. This guy was stuck in here with all this education. I wonder if he got learned. I wonder if he got himself learned. Hmm. Oh, some nerdy glasses. We'll take those, too. Hopefully, this will put out for, uh, for us here. Uh, some of this armor and crap... I almost think I'm better off selling the recipes for them because I'll never actually even make them to be honest uh, Like these 101 101. Yeah, we'll sell those to the trader. All right, cool. Well, we got a few more things here uh, I'm gonna look for leather just in case uh, I need some back of the base because I, I don't know if I sold my leather off or not or um, Took it somewhere else. Oh, yeah, there's stuff in here. I still need to grab from last time ran out of room Beautiful! Look at that! Another helmet! Uh, I'm gonna sell that one to the trader. We already have one. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now we're starting to get some good stuff for the trader. I'm not complaining. Okay, we're good to go. Let's get the hell out of here, and I'm gonna run right back to the trader. I'm gonna sell off the last little bit of stuff here. Holy crap, guys! Before we go, I decided I'll come over here and double check. I got another blueberry pie out of this fridge bottom. Like, it was unsearched, apparently. I don't know why I'm missing all the fridge bottoms, but, um, whatever. Uh, another, uh, thing to note that's interesting as well. Oh, look at that. There's two, uh, blunder blunderbuss ammo. Hmm. I'm starting, I'm starting to see some weapons we can put together here. Okay, since we're over here, and it's probably a decent idea, uh, to get the forge going, I'm gonna look, um, oh, wow, look how small the clay deposits are. Holy crap, did you guys change the clay deposits too? That's crazy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start picking up some clay. We don't need a lot, but I do have my shovel on me. So I may as well take advantage of that, grab some clay, and we'll get the forge going at the trader too. Um, that way, we're not always around the forge, because uh, the forge generates heat, um, but it only calls in screamers if you're in, if someone isn't within range of it, right? Um, so if I don't spend a lot of time in the area, then we shouldn't get a lot of screamers coming in. Oh yeah, look at this. Get some clay right here. Let's grab some of that up. I'm hunted. Shit. Where's it coming from? Damn it. I don't even know where they're going to be coming from. Whatever. I think we still have a minute or two to do this. What a, what a dark day. Alright, so we got 142 clay here. I didn't want to overdo it, so um, I only grabbed that. Oh, look at that. The sun's coming out now. <laughs> Let's grab a little more here. Let's try to make it like a stack and a half. Oh shit! Shit! Look at the size of you! Holy what the fuck! Look at <laughs> Maybe it's in rel relative um, like to that guy behind. Look how tiny he is and isn't he cute? Holy crap though. I did not hear these guys coming. You guys probably did because you're paying attention. But I absolutely did not. Give me my arrow back, asshole. There you go. Right to the head. Well, how about you? You come to play too? There you go. I'm going to turn you guys into loot to sell to the trader. But holy crap. These guys managed to uh, jump scare me quite a few times. Beautiful. I'm getting really good with those arrows too. Nice. Okay. More zombie kills. More XP. We're almost actually level 5. That's awesome. Uh, what do we actually have here for skills? Uh, let's take a look here. Tool smithing. Ooh, we're going to be making tools. So it's probably a good idea to raise those up a bit. Um, bad mechanic is almost useless because we cannot... I don't think you can even make um, stone axes in this mod. Maybe you can. I don't know. I didn't see them, though. Anyways, um, I'm going to sell this few things off to the trader here um, after we get this forge going. Let's get this forge going first here. Beautiful. Sweet. Our first forge on um, 
I'm going to put it on for 10 minutes. I think that's all we're really going to need with it. Uh, now, they do use the same UI I use in my mod, too. Um, unfortunately, I feel really bad, but I can't remember the dude's name who made it. Uh, but he did a great job on it. Um, if any of you know, let me know down in the comments to give him uh, appropriate credit for doing the uh, UI. It's... Um, it's nice. It's not big. It's not bulky. Um, this could be, in my opinion, a little bit smaller, uh, but whatever. It is what it is. I hate the UIs with like stuff all over the place on the screen. I'm a minimalist, so the the least the amount, the better. You know what I mean? Oh, this timer on here to tell you how long it is until it forges in is beautiful. Um, we don't have any iron with us, so I'll bring some of that back and uh, maybe throw some stone into it. So that can go by itself over here. I'm going to close that just so it gets no visitors while we're gone. Sell a few things off to the trader, head home, and try to organize my stuff. But I'm just looking at the time here, guys. And I have run out of time uh, to record on this episode. Uh, so once again, guys, I do want to remind you. Thank you. Oh, I want to thank you for coming out to the video. And uh, don't forget to drop a like on the video, too. Unfortunately, that actually really matters now. So I do have to remind you guys. But I'll do that at the end. Anyways, guys, as usual, stay classy. Always survive. And I will see you in the next episode. Uh, keep it classy. Remember, guys, keep the human population under control. Wear a condom. Peace out. Have a good one.